hey natural lovers welcome back to my channel hope everybody doing good and keeping safe all right so today i'm gonna be doing a wash routine as you can see my hair yeah i'm gonna be doing a wash routine someone had requested for me to do it for the past three weeks and i finally get the chance to do it now yeah but before I jump into the video, remember to like the video, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell an auntie to tell an auntie. Yes. Don't be afraid to vote the comment section. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed as yet. And please, please, please remember to turn on your post notification bell so you will be notified whenever I drop a new video. Alright, so I'm going to go right ahead and show you the products that I am going to be using to wash my hair. And I'm also going to be putting them, the products, in the description section for you as well. So let's do this. So these shampoo that shampoo and condition that I am going to be using today are some new ones that I have bought. The first one that I started using was this olive oil the shampoo and condition. Yeah, but I'm not going to be using this one today. I am going to be using the Egg Honey Shampoo, these two. They smell really, really good. I'm also going to be using a steaming cap, so you're going to need one of these. Also going to be using this good old fermented rice water. Yeah, that I fermented for 24 hours. I'm going to be using this. Um, I keep mine in the refrigerator. Yeah, to be fermented so that's a recommendation and i'm also gonna be using a comb to section my hair you'll see all of that and that's basically it and i'm also going to be using a towel so i will see you in the all right so first thing first i am going to turn on the shower and i'm going to be damping my hair and I'm going to be using my honey egg shampoo and make a lather. So I'm not going to scrub my hair scalp. So instead of rubbing the scalp, I am just going to be massaging my hair, hair root all the way down to my hair end. And I'm just going to repeat this until I feel satisfied. Um, finish with that I'm gonna go right ahead and rank that out now I'm gonna be using my honey egg condition now gonna be applying that to my damp my wet hair and I'm gonna be massaging it from the roots all the way down to my hair end I'm just gonna repeat that So this comb, I'm going to be using the comb to section my hair and just do a quick comb through, right? Because I want the condition to penetrate from my hair root all the way down to my hair end. I'm going to be rinsing that out of my hair thoroughly, right? I 
after all that i am going to be using my fermented rice water and i am going to be sectioning off my hair and spray that fermented rice water in my hair from the root all the way down to my hair end and then i'm going to be doing some big twists or medium twists I'm just gonna be tucking these twists underneath tucking them yeah so after I'm finished spraying some more of the rice water on my hair in my hair I'm just gonna be adding the steaming cap over my head and I'm gonna be for just 10 to 15 minutes now I'm gonna be blow drying my hair people I'm gonna give you a story about this hair dryer. So I got this hair dryer from one of my aunts, but the hair dryer that she bought, it didn't you know, comes with the combing, the combing part there. So I went on the road one day and I went into a store and I went to purchase the comb part for the blow dryer. I didn't know that I should have taken the blow dryer with me so they can know the right fit. Because in the back of my head, I thought that every blow dryer or hair dryer are the same size. I didn't know that they weren't the same size. You have to travel with your blow dryer if you're going to get the comb part or any other part for the any other parts for the blow dryer. So I'm just showing you all how bouncy my hair is. Alright, so I am going to be using this Dox hair oil to oil my hair. Dox hair oil is really good to keep down dry scalp. So I'm going to be using this double sheen shea butter for natural hair. Alright, so I'm going to section off my hair and I am going to be start oiling my scalp. It takes time, but if you want good results, you have to find time to treat yourself, right? So I'm just sectioning off my hair and just adding the Dox hair oil to my hair roots. Normally, I would have my mom doing it for me. Yeah, because some of the times I can't catch in, I can't get to oil in the back section, but I am on my own today because she is not here. <laughs> Normally, I love to put the hair oil just a little bit around my edges because dry scalp love your, your head sides. So now I'm going to go in with my shea butter and I am going to be massaging it into my hair. Normally, whenever I finish wash my hair, blow dry my hair and do all my scalp and all of that, I normally section my hair into two and do some plaits, some big plaits, as you can see. I always try to do protective styles. So 
now i'm gonna be using some bobby pins to pin my hair up there you have it natural lovers that is how i wash my hair and style my hair after washing so remember to like the video share the video hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed don't be afraid to go in the comment section and turn on your post notification bells until next time bye everyone mm -hmm.